You know, look, you're not a sack of crap, but come on, 31 years old, lose the weight now so you can be in that about 175, 180 sweet spot. You know, they have their charts on the age and my height and I'm supposed to be a certain weight, but they say, well, it's mainly muscle, so it's not a problem. You just need like pain meds. I was like, I don't think I do, but thanks. They actually had Gilbert Godfrey come in to break the news to me. He's like, you're fat! And uh, lose a couple of pounds, stop eating cheesecake! The doctor thought I had stenosis, which I don't think I had. And they'll go to this doctor and that doctor and that doctor until they hear what they want to hear. Well, now that I have uh, Medicaid, uh, I got my life together. I saw my general uh, physician, got a um, physical. I saw the dentist, the periodontist, uh, the neurologist, I have epilepsy. Money and health are very closely tied, especially in this nation. I mean, we don't have universal health care. I don't have health care. I'm a personal trainer and I work in hospitals and I don't have health care. They say that I'm in good health. I need to lose about 25 pounds and then I will no longer be overweight. I think about stroke because I think it runs in my family. So I think that one always thinks about that. You do think about end of life. Dr. Raza is the doctor I see now and he is a doctor of teeth. And this nice smile are all his.